All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for the 6th of May, 2021. We've got the moon moving through the middle to later degrees of Pisces. And around 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Daylight Time, the moon is going to create a sextile, that easy flow of energy between water and Pisces, dealing with the uh, our emotional, right, our emotional place of being, uh, our, our sense of security, our emotional place where we surrender, the, the non-physical aspect of the body, dealing with the non-physical, dealing with the ether, dealing with the spiritual connection of self, connecting to sextile the sun down there in, in Taurus. This is dealing with my personal possessions, my personal body, right? So this is, this is like, you know, when we look at, at, at Aries, I am, uh, Taurus, I have, I think, I feel, I will, right? Moving through the, the zodiac, the eyes. This is, this is like fire. This is our first sense of spirit. Earth my body, water my blood, air my breath, and fire my spirit. So we have the first sign is, 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 is like spirit entering into this world. And then this is about my body. You know, something we've been talking about, Venus and Taurus, valuing my body, valuing my relationship with myself, valuing my relationship with my ego. Although that relationship with ego might be changing. There are great things changing right now. Now, Pisces, this is the end of the zodiac, where this is the beginning. You know, we, we, when we look at this, not just Aries, but when we look at the beginning of the zodiac, we say this is the baby. This is finger and toes is all I know, the tip of my nose. <laughs> right and we're we're going toward the light we're running away we're going toward what feels good and warm and fuzzy and we're running away from what feels bad now pisces is the accumulation of all 12 other signs pisces and libra probably have the most confused mis misconceptions of the zodiac of what exactly they mean and pisces deals with a lot pisces the mutable water sign Ruling planet uh, Neptune not only deals with our dreams, our creativity, our spiritual nature, the, the essence of life, right? Aquarius is the, the water in the air that allows electricity to flow. The electric nature, the water aspects of air. This is, this is again, the, the, the accumulation of all. So it's not just the infant acting out of infant rage or infant space, but it is also the king or the queen sitting on the throne and trying to not allow their emotions, the, the infantile kind of emotions, to rule or to take over them, but by looking at everything from a graceful perspective. So we have the moon here, our emotional sense of security, our emotional place where we surrender, the side of ourselves that we normally don't show to everyone else, creating this easy flow of energy here to the sun, our sense of ego, our sense of body, our sense of self. And this is a way that we are looking at ourselves and how are we, are, how are we acting like the king and queen archetype? How are we acting like, you know, if you, if you watch any uh, uh, tarot, tarot uh, you know, the, the, the king or the, the ace, the queen, energy of those cards is different from the jack, from, from that running in without fully knowing what's going on. They're running in to be the hero, though they don't have the full sense of how to be the hero. So it's like, where are we running into a situation when we don't really know? And this reminds me of uh, something called the Dunning-Kruger effect. If you're familiar with that, the Dunning-Kruger effect. There's two sides of this coin in psychology. And one side, this is confident ignorance. This is like, oh, yeah, I can build a bridge. No problem. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, do you really have the skill to build a bridge? Absolutely. Have you ever done it? No, but I can do that. You know, or I'm the best at that. You know, it's just like, are you, are you really? And then the other side of the coin of the Dunning-Kruger effect is the individual who does really understand how to build a bridge, who understands how to build a whatever it may be, or understands a concept or an idea, whatever, again, whatever it may be. They fully understand how to do this from A to Z, but their level of comprehension 
doesn't understand how someone doesn't understand how to do that. So on one, we have an inflated ego of, yes, I can do anything. And there's a certain sense of truth to that. On the other, it's, I understand how to do this, but I don't understand why you don't understand this. I don't understand why you can't comprehend this simple train of thought. I don't understand why you can't comprehend. I can't comprehend why you can't comprehend. (laughs) <laughs> right? That's the Dunning-Kruger effect. So in a certain sense, the moon creating the sextile to the sun is saying, okay, where are we showing up where that archetype is, is ourselves? Where are we showing up where we are acting like the king or the queen, the god and goddess? Where are we showing up where we're acting immature and irresponsible? Cool? So that's, that's the first part of our day that we're going to be feeling. The second part is really important here as the moon is going to conjunct Neptune, the ruling planet of Pisces. Now here we have another two-sided coin. Moon conjunct, if you have anything around the 20 degrees, 24 degrees, this is going to really affect you, uh, whether it's immutable or, uh, you know, whatever. You know, if you're 22 degrees, 21 degrees, something over here in Capricorn, you're getting a nice sextile or Taurus, uh, or, or Virgo energy, you know, you're, whatever. This, this might be affecting you greatly, this conjunction around 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time here. Uh, moon conjunct Neptune. Now, the moon, the, ne- Neptune can be a black hole in astrology. Neptune can suck everything in, almost like the sun. Um, I'm forgetting the astrological term where it's just like the flare of the sun, it, it takes over and you don't really see the other energy much. Yeah, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, my astrology connoisseurs, feel free to drop it in the comments. Um, uh, it's failing me at the moment. That's all right. There's a lot of other things coming through. So, uh, you know, it's just like Neptune can suck things in like the black hole where we can't see our own emotional drive. That's why this connection with the sun, sextile of the moon, is extremely important top of the day here because it's, it's remembering who we are, our strengths, and our weaknesses, And although we're not dealing with Scorpio energy, this is dealing with shadow side of self because we're dealing with the emotion side of self that we don't always show up and and show to other people. We don't always see them ourselves. You know, it's like, where are we acting foolish? Where are we running into a situation not knowing the full outcome or something and jumping the gun, whether that's communication? Mercury now in Gemini, there's two sides to every coin. And that's how it's going to be for the next, you know, 20 days here. Everything, there's always two sides to every coin, especially with Mercury and Gemini. It's going to be putting it at the forefront of our communication, the forefront of our insight. And um, so our dreams, our creativity, our, our passions, our spirituality, our connection with the unknown, our connection with ether, our connection beyond this physical body, are one aspect of Neptune and Pisces. The other aspect of Neptune and Pisces is manipulation. It's it's, uh, overruled by the media. It's confusion. It's enemies. It's a lack of decisiveness, a lack of definition, right? There's there's pros and cons to absolutely everything in life. Every rose has its thorn. (laughs) Way off key. Uh, But, you know, so the moon now being sucked into the black hole of Pisces, uh, of of Neptune and Pisces. One, we could be eluded. We could be sucked in so much with our own creative juices that we really see kind of our own truth. Like, yes, I have to go forward with this direction on this Thursday, on this Thursday, Jupiter days. Jupiter at 29 degrees, I will say, of Aquarius. You know, Jupiter will enter Pisces for a little bit before it retrogrades here and come back into Aquarius for the the remainder of the year. So just a little bit, it's going to jump into Aquarius. So the the anoretic 29th degree, Jupiter days, you know, this is about our future. And these are our two planets of expansion. And we're talking about emotional expansion here. Emotional expansion beyond Saturn's limits. Saturn rules over Jupiter. Saturn does not rule over Neptune. This is the non-physical. Jupiter is the expansion of the physical, you see. So the moon here conjunct Neptune. Now we can also not only be feeling a sense of of, um, overwhelming and excited joy for what we're creating as being a co-creator in this physical body, this moon 
sextile to uh, the sun early in the morning, a, a creation, a joy, a joy of creation. I'm co-creating my experience in this life. Then we have this connection with Neptune, and it's just saying I could be overwhelmed and excited about the things that I get to create while utilizing this body. By harnessing this machine, <laughs> this body, look what I can do in this physical world. The other side is almost this Saturnian kind of nature, although we're, we're not really connecting with Saturn at the moment. It's, I'm being overruled by media, by the news, by the information that's happening outside, that that information is affecting me so greatly that I'm losing sight of myself and my own emotions. And what side of the coin do we stand on? Maybe we're both. Moon's in Pisces. Mercury is in Gemini. Maybe there's no definition. Maybe this is us showing that we always stand on both sides of the coin. Maybe we see, uh, or we stand on both sides of the fence and the grass is always green on both sides. It's just part of our own illumination is what's coming up today, whatever way that may come up. This is very much a day of illumination. And sometimes in the darkness, when the moon is being sucked into that black hole of Neptune, can we truly see things as they are? Not with the light, but within the dark. So my friends, have an illuminating day, whatever is going on in your world. Blessings, blessings, blessings to you. I love you. I wish you enough, and I'll see you tomorrow.